flat. So he's got the flat pattern preview in the lower right corner and on shape. And then he's using and working in that flat pattern preview to create that slot shape. But Matab on the right looks like he may be coming in with a mass here. And we are going to watch the chat and see if the answer comes in. And Matab comes in with an answer. 0 0.703 pounds. And that is not correct. That is not correct. Very fast modeling, but that is not correct. So Matab is going to need to go through. He's going to need to examine what's going on with his dimensions. Maybe double check the drawing and see if maybe he missed a dimension somewhere. Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to another CAD vs. CAD tournament highlight. One of the more common questions we get is how did these guys get so fast? And I can say that many of the competitors that we see in this tournament are regular members on our website, twotalltoby.com. On this website, you can sign up for our practice models app where you'll find over 200 2D to 3D practice models, very similar to what we see here in the tournament. So if you want to get fast enough to enter the next CAD vs. CAD tournament, be sure to sign up over at twotalltoby.com. Get started on your practice models journey. And of course, be sure to like this video. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought about the battle and what you thought about this model. This is going to be 19, Rockcrawler 13, Tarak Hassan 10, Matab 19. Man, this suspense is killing me. Yep. Let's give this thing a I spin. I think it's going to be on the wheel. I can guarantee you that much. Okay. It's, it's one of those go. drawings. So. Give this thing a spin, and we are going to our very first battle with model number 12. And there we go. Okay, guys. <laughs> so what we like to do before we get started is we like to just learn a little bit about our runners. So, Corey, maybe you could introduce us to these runners a little bit. So, James, it looks like, you know, fellow Onshape user, uh, I've, he's been using Onshape since... 2022 for designing and first robotics competition robots that's something that is super super cool um another another cool fact is he's also a huge lego fan um you know his this is his first cad competition and i mean for being his first time he's doing a really really good job yeah. so and moving on over to matab uh, he's pursuing his industrial engineering degree so uh, he's learning autocad and on shape alongside solid solidworks so he's just a glutton for punishment wants to learn all the systems he might take the whole CAD versus CAD variety CAD tournament by himself next year. Man. Um, and then he started with SolidWorks from a recommended uh, varsity course, been one and a half years using SolidWorks. So yeah, and that's these it. two, it seems like they're they're fairly recent to the CAD game, but it didn't slow them down at all. So I'm excited to see how this matchup goes today. Yeah, a couple of prodigies in here. And so I guess the time for chat is over and the time for this first CAD versus CAD battle is here. We are going to see James using Onshape, our number five seed from Australia, going up against Matab, our number one seed using SolidWorks. Here we go. This CAD vs. CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? James predicted that it would be pounds and it looks like he was correct. We see that this is a sheet metal model. It can be modeled as sheet metal or as thin features. The unit system is IPS, meaning inches, and the material is plain carbon steel. Both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture of this challenge. And so we move into the CAD vs. CAD arena. We've got James on the left using on shape. We've got Matab on the right using solid works. And it looks like Matab has already jumped in here, modeling this He's thing drawing up. Drawing first blood. Yeah, man. drawing first blood, <laughs> extruding this out. Looks like maybe James, uh, maybe James didn't get a chance to grab the screen capture. It looks like maybe he was struggling. I'm gonna just uh, flip back to the screen capture here and let's see, make sure that he can make sure that he can see it. I'm, I open, apologize yeah. that we're gonna miss the action a little bit here, but I just wanna make sure that James does in fact have a chance to grab the screen capture. There we go. He's moving through the model now. Here we go, that's what we needed. So you see Matab on the right was able to extrude that out, take first blood, and interesting approach here. He decided to just extrude that as an L shape with the, uh, with the uh, sheet metal tools. I think that's probably a pretty solid approach. Yeah, I know for sure. It's, it's easier way to cut that like he's doing right here, you'll see, so. Yeah, and I guess he's just deciding to, I guess he's just deciding to do half of the model to begin with. And maybe he's going to use some kind of a mirror or something on the tail end. What do you think about that approach? I think, I mean, from, from a, I like seeing the whole thing laid out at that flat pattern. But I mean, however you get there, whatever, whatever works for you. I think when you're, you're selfish and you work in your own environment, you don't have to share. That's one thing you can kind of do however you want. But when you're in a collaboration, it's kind of whatever the team flow is. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it. That's a great point. You know, it's not just about how you're modeling it yourself. It's really about how the whole team is modeling. And Cobain in the chat says, Sheesh, Matab is super fast. Yeah, look at him. He's already gotten into yeah. his third feature here. He was able to extrude that L shape. He was able to cut that L shape kind of down from the top. And now he's getting in here and he's modeling up this little flange sticking out the back. And uh, this model, I'd say, this is a tier four model. It's a sheet metal model, which sometimes people struggle with. Not everybody has the most sheet metal experience, but it looks like Matab is having no problems with this sheet metal model. Uh, getting in there, made those as fillets, realized those were supposed to be chamfers, no problem. Just jumped in and edited them to get them to be chamfers. And now we see Matab is gonna go through and he's gonna add in this slot here. It's kind of slot shape running down from the, the top of the model. Getting in here, applying the appropriate dimensions to that thing to locate it. Yeah, it looks like James is getting those flanges thrown in. He's those that hold line inner outer. Those kind of always mess with my my measurements sometimes too. So, yeah, that's a great point. I mean, it's definitely something that I've learned a lot about. I mean, I kind of come from a sheet metal background, so learning where the flange is derived from. But look at James, interesting on in on shape there on the left. The, the model is the preview of the model is kind of in the way, but what you can see James doing there is he's actually working in the flat pattern as he's creating this model. And that's something pretty unique you can do in on shape. Yeah, I know when I did my run to, to qualify for this tournament, that's what I did. And Matab was like, dude, I didn't know that was possible. Like, how did you do that? And then of course, everybody jumped in and figured that trick out, so. <laughs> yeah, very cool that James is just able to get down there and actually work in the flat. So he's got the flat pattern preview in the lower right corner in on shape. And then he's using and working in that flat pattern preview to create that slot shape. But Matab on the right looks like he may be coming in with a mass here. And we are gonna watch the chat and see if the answer comes in. And Matab comes in with an answer, 0 0.703 pounds, and that is not correct. That is not correct. Very fast modeling, but that is not correct. So Matab is going to need to go through. He's going to need to examine what's going on with his dimensions, maybe double check the drawing and see if maybe he missed a dimension somewhere. But uh, wow, wow, wow. Matab, super fast modeling, but that is not correct with intolerance. We're looking for the answer in 0.xxx pounds plus or minus 0 0.002 pounds and that answer 0 0.703 is not correct with intolerance this may open the door for james cobain in the chat says james has a chance now this is the part where your heart starts fluttering as a competitor for sure so <laughs> yes matab now has the the opportunity to try to figure out what what he did wrong however if he answers incorrectly again that's it he'll be shut out from getting this point and so James now has a chance. This is where it does get very dangerous. Matab really needs to kind of go over the drawing with a fine tooth comb. Mm -hmm. And he needs to really make sure that that uh, he understands what dimensions maybe were incorrect, what dimensions were missing. And in the meantime, James, you can see here, has already got that flange with the angle kind of sticking up the back. His flat pattern's mm -hmm. looking pretty good. Oh, it looks like he decided to maybe edit, maybe roll back there a little bit. James on the left uh, kind of getting rid of that that angled shape. Okay, there we go. He's got it back now. Yeah, and this is kind of the power of Onshape too, being able to see that feature tree. Um, and it, it's they have a, a button that shows final that works really cool too. So you can kind of see how things change as you manipulate that works really well. And so it looks like Matab did go through and is now uh, gonna, is he gonna commit to his answer or is he gonna keep looking at his model? That's the question. That's always the question as a competitor. Looks like he is gonna commit to his answer. And Matab comes into the chat with the answer, 0 0.666 pounds. And that is correct. There we and go. congratulations <laughs> to Matab taking the first win. The mark of the beast, the model is both sheet metal and inches. It felt like it was appropriate, especially considering most of our runners are not from the United States. <laughs> So both sheet metal and inches, and the correct answer was 0 0.66 pounds, plus or minus 0 0.002 pounds. You saw Matab came in at first with an answer that was not within the specification of that drawing, and therefore did not earn the point. However, he was able to go back over the drawing, figure out what was missing, and resolve the issue. It looked like maybe it was a dimension from the back of the model to the beginning of that kind of angle.